Pacific Railroad was on a race to finish construction on the railroad before the Union Pacific. Due to the constant hardships that some men faced while working on the railroad, many started to quit. Charles Crocker managed to recruit 2,000 men, but by September of 1865, 1,900 of them quit. At this time, the construction crew numbered less than 800. Most of the workers went on strike for more pay. This is why they became desperate to hire the Celestials or the Chinese. At first, they were dubious about hiring these Orientals, but Crocker finally convinced James Strobridge to hire 50 Chinese on a trial basis. After realizing that the Chinese were more efficient than the white workers, they decided to hire more of these so-called coolies. This issue became so big that Crocker made arrangements to ship people all the way from China. The Chinese were paid only $25 to $40 a month and were organized into 12 to 20 men a group. The Chinese had better living habits than the whites. After a long day's work, the whites would usually go out and get drunk and party. The Chinese would maintain their health and get good rest. The Chinese were less troublesome than the rest. The Irish immigrants even said the Chinese were like women, smelling of perfume. The Chinese boiled their water to purify it before they drank it. This is how they made tea. They also ate rice instead of the infected meat that the rest of the workers ate so that they wouldn't get any diseases. The Chinese were accused of eating cats, dogs, and rats. There were many obstacles in the way, such as explosions in tunnels, snowstorms, battling blizzards, cutting through giant redwood trees, and even avalanches. Oh! Hi, the Central Pacific Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> about hiring these Orientals, but Crocker finally convinced Strobridge to hire <laughs> 50 Chinese. Did you say Heinies? What'd you say? I said Heinies. <laughs> he said Heinies. <laughs> hey, we can't laugh at Ah! Cool. The Chinese were accused of eating cats, dogs, and rats too. <laughs>